Hey guys, we have the Model C by Eclipson. Uh, we're gonna take this out for a maiden flight. If you haven't seen my build video for that, check that out. And uh, we're gonna fly with these flat wing tips on there now, and then we have some winglets that we're gonna put on there also. Uh, this has flap arounds, so I got those set up, and we're gonna see how this thing flies. The first flight for this airplane, I had the CG set forward on it and uh, I needed a little bit of uh, trim, elevator trim to keep it up. And uh, so the first flight, I just kind of was a trim flight and we'll get it on the ground. We'll change the battery out. I'll do a little more taxing with it and uh, we'll get it up for another flight. This plane taxis really nice. It's got a nice little tail wheel on the back uh, that's hooked up to the rudder, and then it has these Verisher TPU uh, main landing gear, and it's by ColorFab, so it's like a lightweight TPU material. So it makes it really kind of squishy, and it taxis really nice. So after a little bit of adjustment with the CG and with the trim, uh, you can see this airplane just starts flying really, really well. Uh, this airplane came in at a ready fly weight at 650 grams, and that's using ColorFab's lightweight PLA and also their lightweight TPU material for the, the tires on this airplane. Uh, this airplane, I'm flying it on a three cell, 1000 milliamp battery, and it's just really cool looking and it's really fun in a little bush plane. So I definitely recommend building this airplane if you guys wanna nice little training airplane or something that flies really slow or just a first 3D printed airplane to get into. Uh, it prints out really easily. It only was like 48 hours to print this whole thing out.
Hey guys, so after the maiden flight, we did okay. We uh, just had a little bit of a landing gear break on this side, so I gotta go back and reinforce that a little bit. Okay, so after the maiden flight, the maiden flight actually went pretty well. This is a pretty small issue to have on a maiden flight. Uh, the airplane flew really, really well, and I uh, had plenty of power, and it uh, looks really nice. And so as soon as I got back, I emailed the clips in and told them what happened. She showed them a couple uh, pictures of it and everything, and responded back right away and gave me a new uh, fuselage part. So the reason why you guys can't actually uh, buy this STL file yet is because this is actually a prototype model. And so me going out and testing it and breaking the landing gear with my bad landings, actually uh, you know, made this plane a little bit better for you guys and uh, you guys will be getting a different part. So as soon as I got the STL file, I uh, threw it on the printer and printed out the new part just to check it out and compare it so I could show you guys what the difference between the new part is and the part I used was. So this is the part that, uh, the new one, and you can see inside of here, this is all filled up in here and these parts are way stronger and uh, I have the other part on the printer. I'll grab that real quick. Okay, so here's actually the original uh, part of the fuselage. This was the first model that we have that actually broke. And if you look in here, you can see uh, how much space is in between here. And so if we compare that to the other one, here is the comparison between uh, the two parts that we have. And uh, you can see there that the you know, the inside is a lot more filled in and uh, it's way, way stronger. Now, you guys are probably wondering, you know, what this other airplane is sitting over here. Well, this is actually a PLA version of the Model C. And uh, it's for my next video I'm doing for you guys. I'm gonna do a full comparison between a PLA and a lightweight PLA airplane. So I really like this Eclipse in Bush plane. So I decided to print out a second one. Uh, for this model though, I will be using uh, the original fuselage piece uh, because this one does increase the weight of uh, 4%. Uh, so it would be unfair to use the new fuselage piece that's a little bit heavier than the original fuselage piece against the lightweight PLA. So that, that way these two fuselages are completely identical. So uh, one more thing that I wanted to show you guys uh, that I messed up in the build video was uh, this tail wheel. So actually on the tail wheel here, um, on the lightweight PLA version, there's a little bit of a gap below the last part of the fuselage. And that's because uh, I didn't bend that wire right away at that tail fitting there. So we need to bend that wire so that there's no gap. That will have the stress right here on all the weight of this, this tail wheel will be on the back of this fuselage instead of this hinge point at the top of the rudder. Because on, on this model here, because there's that there's a gap there underneath this uh, tail fitting, it's actually pushing all the way up and it's putting stress right here on this top hinge point, on this glue point, instead of down here on the fuselage. So uh, make sure when you guys build your guys's, you build it with a bend down here and then you don't need to glue the hinge on the bottom of the rudder. You can just leave it, you know, leave that there and then just slide the lower part of the rudder over top of it and then uh, it'll, it'll make it work a little better and we'll have so much stress on this top part of the uh, rudder. To fix my landing gear, what I'm gonna do is just remove the landing gear off the bottom of the fuselage. I'm gonna glue up the bottom of the fuselage just to make it strong again. And then I'm just gonna add a lot of CA glue to the fittings for the landing gear and then insert them into the fuselage. And that will actually strengthen that up by using all of the pieces of plastic around that to kind of keep it from flexing. So uh, I think that'll make it a lot stronger. And then I'm gonna add the landing gear back on. Once I have the wheels back on, what I did was I actually brought these gear closer together. So they're about an inch and a half closer. So there's less leverage on the wheel when it comes up. It's not gonna rotate it quite as much. It doesn't have as much leverage anyway. It still is, but it's not quite as much. Uh, and it has more of the force kind of going up towards the fuselage. Uh, so that'll make my version a little bit stronger. For you guys who won't have a problem because you'll have the new fuselage part uh, that I tested you know, out, so you guys won't have a problem with it. So uh, I'm gonna be taking this airplane out in a couple days when I take out the PLA version. So uh, we'll, we'll ch try out my landing gear, make sure it works okay. And I actually talked to Eclipse a little more and they actually are gonna test it and make sure that the gear can actually flex all the way so that the, the bottom of the fuselage can touch the ground before it actually breaks uh, this part of the fuselage anymore. So you guys definitely won't have any problem with uh, yours breaking. 
So uh, I'm going to get back to work on this, and I'll see you guys in the next build. Thank you guys so much for watching.